Hey y'all, what up? DB here. Got something a little different. I want to share something with y'all. So my man from Tampa came up and uh, we played a rack of magic for like three days straight. We played some other stuff too, but we played a lot of Commander. Um, we did play some uh, some com Memoir 44 Overlord though, which was dope. Shout out. Appreciate my man giving it a go. He worked me at some market garden and then I worked him. It was good fun. But he put me on to something. He put me on to Pack Wars, y'all. And Pack Wars was something new to me. And it was super fun. Because uh, me and my man Tampa were, we when we get together, we usually crack packs. And we do things like uh, seals ourselves. We'll just uh, crack like three packs and make a deck. And then whoever wins will crack another pack. And then until you go up to like five or six, I forget. It's just an excuse to crack packs and play with commons, right? Well, he put me on to a great way to do it. Um, and we actually used OG Masters, Double Masters, um, which was interesting. So at $15 a pack, he cracked, he had a box, unopened box, and we started cracking it um, at $15 a pack. I got a bunch of bunch of good cards in here. I got, uh, I'm trying to think, what, what now I got sent triplets. It's not as good as it used to be, but card I love. Um, I got some other good things. I got, oh, I got a Toxic Deluge, I think. Ad nauseum. That was a decent one. Um, I did all right for myself, I feel like. But more importantly, oh, I did get Thoughtseize. Yeah, what am I talking about? I did all right, because I also got this one. Boom, Stone Ford Mystic. So, um, but that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is Pack Wars and how you play it. And how it makes just regular draft boosters, if you only have a few, super fun. Um, it's super easy to do. Just like the Humpty Dance, yo. You take two of every basic land right here. Okay. We're going to take two of those. And then you take one pack of cards. And you open it up, but you don't look at it. Right? And that's going to be your hand. So you would shuffle this pack in with those and then you only start with 15 life and then you play it like a regular game of magic dude against someone else who does the same with this and it's awesomely fun you get to use all the common creatures um you have all your manas in here you might even end up with another one in here right so it's super, um, it's super fun. And you know, you can, you can play a couple times with the same one, or it's just an excuse to rip more packs. If you got shit cards, you know, it's super fun. So, but let's see what we got here with this Kamigawa pack, a construct, a forest, explosive singularity, a mythic. There's an additional cost to cast the spell. You may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Spell cost deals 10 damage to any target. Mm -hmm. A Sarai Captain. The art on that is pretty crazy, right? Samurai Warrior. I'm not really into this Shogun type stuff. Or not Shogun. That's that's wrong because I love Samurais and stuff. I meant the um, cyberpunky kind of craziness. Not really. I'm into that as in cyberpunk. Used to play cyberpunk way back when I was a kid. And like Shadow Run and all that stuff. But just don't like it as a magic world. Legendary Shrine. This is actually a pretty good pack right here. Peerless Samurai. Like these cards I can dig. But like the laser samurais and shit. So. And there's like cards in here, right? That you would never probably use. But like you're going to use them. And that's just, like, what you do until the end of the turn. Target creature or vehicle becomes an artifact creature. Yeah. That's not bad. Whenever a non-token modified creature you control dies, create a spirit token. 
The Kami of Terrible Secrets. Now, see, I like him. He's pretty dope. Uh, we like him. Network Terminal. See, that's the shit I could do without. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, like, how does that fit in with some of this other stuff? Like, bronze cudgels. Which is dope, you know? Or, like, just a regular-ass samurai, dude. I don't know. Don't really like it. But moral of the story is you would mix this in with these, shuffle them up, start with 15 life, and you would battle this dude, whoever he is, your buddy, sitting across the table, right? And again, you start with 15 life on this side, make your little deck, and battle out. Super fun pack wars, yo. Everybody should check it out. I'm telling you, it's fun. Even if you're, like, not down with magic and... uh you know, because it costs money or whatever. Just like, yeah. Or if you haven't played in a while, it's a great way just to play and make sure you get to use all your cards, dude. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, because that's what I look for. Because I'm a collector and stuff. But I also just like cracking packs and playing with the cards. Because when you play with a lot of the common cards, it reminds me of Magic when I was a kid, yo. And all we had was revised, unlimited, you know, Arabian Nights and... And Legends only. That's all we had. But, I mean, it was a much simpler much simpler game, you know. And uh, it was a simpler time. I sound like the oldest of old men. It's so horrible. Because I like magic now. But I'm not all about infinite combos and all that other bullshit. This is a um, shitty arena card. You wouldn't shuffle this into your deck. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Neo Geo Swamp or whatever. Satuki the Living Lore. See, I don't even know like what cards are worth money from this set. Not that I care. Because I think I opened like... I didn't even buy a bundle of this set. I think I bought a pre-release pack. That was it. I think I posted it on the channel maybe. I forget. Imperial Recovery Unit. Dockside Chef. See, now I'm down with that artwork. Give me some of them noodles and them squids. Some spirit squids. Boundless vigor. I'm into commies and stuff, though. That's dope. Modern age. Eh. I would never play with this. Even though it's like Star Wars run on the Death Star art, but still. Seven-tailed mentor. Yeah. It's a little too much uh, late night adult swim anime shit for me. Air of the Ancient Fang, more my speed. Snake Samurai. This dude's not too bad looking, but he's a fox pilot. I mean, come on. Vehicles are kind of lame. That's just my deal. <laughs> Careful Cultivation. Armed Guard Familiar. Automated Artificer. Gift of Wrath. Claw and Torment. The Eagle Hours Terrarium. That art is actually dope, though. But still. The premise is kind of weird, but I guess, I don't know. I, in my mind, I could pretend this is like an Urza. Urza built this terrarium. Who knows? Anyway, you would shuffle them in, battle this dude out of these two decks. Who knows who would win, right? Maybe I'll play later. But I just wanted to share pack wars with y'all. So next time, you're just chilling with a buddy. And instead, after you rip games of Commander or whatever, maybe... uh do some pack wars instead, dudes. All right? Later, Gators. Peace. Do what you feel and be good to one another.